So let's take a look at how to create backup jobs within VersionDog. That is done within the Jobs section of the Admin Client. So let's click on Jobs and we'll go into that section and take a look at how to set one up. So once in the Jobs section, you'll see your project tree here on the left, which contains all your components that are sitting within VersionDog. So let's pretend that we want to create a backup job for one of our RS Logics 500 devices. Once we find the component, we can simply start the configurator by dragging and dropping that component into the window here in the middle. And then you'll notice that our upload type for this RS Logics is an RS Logics 500. If I had dragged and dropped a Siemens component, it would know that the upload type is a Siemens. If I had dragged and dropped a UNC type connection, it would see that as well. Now you do have the option to change these. If you have the ability to also connect in different modes and you want to change that up, you could do that as well. Now the advantage of selecting the appropriate upload type is that we already know some of the common settings that are required for that upload type. If this had been a UNC type connection, we would know the UNC typical setting connections that we need to put in here to make that connection to that device. Now once you have your upload type selected, we can set the execution mode. Maybe you want to set this backup job to only run manually so you can set it up and not schedule it. If this device was not connected to the network, you could set it up and use our backup client to go out to that device and grab the information to store it. Typically though, you're going to want to set it according to schedule. So once you set according to schedule, then you can set your schedule time. And that can be down to the specific minute if you wanted to. Once that's set, you would typically say how to handle errors. Let's say that you try to connect to the device, but you have a network error. You can say, I want to try it six other times every 10 or 15 minutes. You can set those settings there. Some other common features that you'll take a look at is like based on your upload type and your compare. You can say how many copies of a backup you want to keep before you start rolling it over. You got some additional job information and you can also exclude certain items from the backup if you wanted to. Once all the details are put in, you simply save it. You could wait till 1 a.m. to run it if you wanted to, but if you could want to run it manually, you can ex execute the job once from here as well. This is also nice if you make a lot of changes to a device and you don't want to wait till 1 a.m. to back it up because a lot of changes were made, you could run it manually and go ahead and back it up immediately. Now when a job runs, you will see down in the bottom pane the results of some of those jobs. Since this is a brand new one, it hasn't been run yet. But if we select one of our other components that has had some examples of job runs, like this Siemens S7, you'll see that this S7 is designed to run at 1 a.m. every day, and that here's the results of the last five times it's run. There's a lot of additional information you can do here um, to manage your backup jobs, but this covers some of the more important features that you should be familiar with.